Hi, could you tell us two things you miss the most about living in India? I miss manicures and pedicures. <laughs> they just don't do it in France the way they do it in India. Which means that I miss being pampered and I miss jobs. I miss street food. In Paris, they do not get it. Please, whoever restaurant here is listening, there is a big market for good, authentic Indian street food in Paris. And I will help you get there. All right. Three must-haves in your travel kit. Three must-haves in your travel kit. A book, preferably. <laughs> a book, um, moisturizer, uh, headphones. Please do not listen to your uh, phone or your iPads with the volume up. Total no. All right. One book that changed your life. So many. Every time I read a book, something changes about me. So, what was the recent one that I read? Oh, Gentleman in Moscow. Pachinko. Yeah. Uh, Salman Rushdie's books. Um, at the time, Paolo Coelho's books. Then all the books by Anne Patchett. So many books. Books. I, every time I read a book, it changes something in me. And last but not the least, one myth you'd like to bust about living in one of the world's fashion capitals. One of the myths you'd like to bust about living in one of the world's most fashion. about living in here. Paris has got to be the most beautiful city in the world. Jaipur, Rome, Florence, all these amazing cities which are beautiful in their own right, they're not a patch on Paris. I mean, there is something so stunning about it. And so every time I get fed up with the Parisians, which is often. I just have to look at the landscape and the cityscape and I'm like, oh, I live here. Thank you. Thank you.